just thought I'd make this little video on um, how I disposed of my used LiPo batteries. Uh, I'm a model flyer and uh, we get through quite a lot of these LiPo batteries. Um, LiPo, short for lithium polymer. Um, we have um, uh, various different batteries on different sizes, different capacities. Now, LiPo batteries or lithium polymer batteries are generally made up of various cells. Now, as you can see on this is a three cell battery. And here you can see there's actually one, two, three cells there. They're all wired in uh, series. <coughs> so each cell is 3.7 volts. So this being a three cell battery, three times 3.7 is 11.1 .1 volts. So this is an 11.1 .1 volt battery, which I use to fly my model aircraft. Uh, moving on, this is a four cell battery. Uh, so this is 14.8 volts. Um, and then we go on to some of the bigger batteries, which is for some of the larger model aircraft. Uh, this is a six cell battery. Um, should be 22, six times 3.7, 22.2 volts. However, uh, to be honest with you, freshly off the charger, they do actually hold quite a bit more uh, uh, voltage really than uh, what is stated here. Um, so it should be 22.2 volts, but um, if I just plug in my meter here, uh, you will actually see it's actually uh, 25 volts. So, But anyway, that's by the by. <coughs> now, what we find with these batteries is that they, over a period of time, they do actually sort of wear out, so to speak. And what happens is that the internal resistance of each cell will actually increase. Now, with model flying or any any the, the beauty of these batteries basically is that they're able to discharge enormously high amounts of current in a very short period of time which is basically what we need for flying model aircraft because sometimes yes for instance if you're in the climb just taking off and you're climbing uh, you can actually draw sort of anything up to sort of 100 amps now lipo batteries are really really good at letting out large amounts of current in a very short space of time. Now, take this battery here for instance. Um, they always have a C rating. Now, I don't know if you can see that. This battery is 5,000 milliamp hours, which is basically five amps. And it's capable, it's a 45C battery. I mean, some of the manufacturers, I mean, do over egg it a bit, I have to say, but 45C means that this battery is capable of discharging five amps 45 times if you like so in actual fact this battery is capable of uh, pumping out 225 amps in very short period of time so this is why we need to use these sort of batteries for model flying this is a really big one this is a another six cell battery um the, the beauty of them is that they're, they're just ideal for, for you know model flyers and um uh, model car races as well. I think the model car races use them nowadays as well. However, what happens over a period of time is that as the battery wears out, the cells, the internal cells, the, the resistance gets higher and higher and higher, um, which basically renders the battery useless. Now, I'm sort of big into recycling. I like to recycle whenever I can. However, I just cannot find anybody that will recycle these. You can't put them in the post, the, the Royal Mail won't take them. Um, I can't find any recyclers around here to, to recycle them. So it, they are quite dangerous in actual fact because even though this, for instance, this battery may be useless for model flying now because it just cannot let out that amount of current because the internal resistance has got too high. Um, it, it's just a useless battery, so it has to be disposed of safely. Now, I can't just put it in the bin, it's dangerous. Uh, if this were to go into the back of the, um, you know, the, the dust cart, and the old dust cart starts chewing it up, it's likely to burst into flames and <laughs> set the dust cart on fire. And also, it, it's, you, you can't just put it into landfill because again, it could cause a fire or whatever. So, in this next little part of the video, I'll show you how I've discharged them safely. Um, and then I have had to dispose of them once they're discharged, it's too dangerous to dispose of them when they're charged. 
um, you'll see it's quite an interesting video and you will uh, realize just how much uh, you know capacity that is still stored in these batteries even though they're pretty well useless um, and, and it gives you some indication as to just how dangerous these batteries can actually be so anyway hope you enjoy the next part of the video So there's a little lesson for you, so um, when you finish with your old LiPo batteries, don't just chuck them in the bin, um, discharge them safely. Now I only made that video uh, to sort of reiterate really just how, how dangerous these things can be. Obviously don't do that at home so to speak, so it's probably safer to discharge them uh, with a light bulb or a resistor or something like that just to make sure they're fully, fully discharged before you dispose of them. Um, I only made that video to show the bursting of the flames and, uh, and so just to, to see, you know, just to show really, you know, how, how dangerous these things can be. So discharge them with a resistor or a light bulb and then you should be able to get rid of them safely.